guys so I thought I would do a day in the life vlog just because it's been requested on a couple of my other videos I'm just going to Target to get some recording supplies for this new series that I'm doing uh, and then I am gonna be doing homework going to acapella rehearsal um, studying a lot so uh, yeah, but I thought I would bring you guys to Target with me. You could maybe get some recording techniques and also see what I what I buy when I go to Target. Who knows? Why would you care about that? I don't know. Whether you like it or not, you're along for the ride. Unless you like, you know, stop watching the video. So the things I need, I have to get a box, <laughs> uh, like a small box to put around my Yeti mic and also an egg crate to create a sound barrier so that it sounds like a recording studio in my bedroom. I also need to get a new long phone charger. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like this is such a wild day. Um, my phone charger ripped in half. It's a six foot long one that like I, I drag along my room, but it broke. So I need a new one of those. I need some orange juice because I love orange juice. I have a little bit of an addiction to that. Here we go. Here it is, the place where I always go with Jesse. It's gonna be kind of annoying if you watch Jesse's vlogs. This is all we ever do together. But it's the best place. I think it's better than Walmart. So many chargers happening. They don't seem to have my huge one though. What the F? All right guys, so I found this, which is, uh, it's like a no, no stress one so that see this little thing here it's not gonna rip now i also found an egg crate which is awesome that'll be good insulation for our home studio the issue with target is that i get here and i want to buy everything inside and then i walked down the makeup aisle and this is what i want everything in here and i come out and i've lost a thousand dollars so one thing you have to know about me is that every time I go anywhere, I forget where I parked. And I have to press the panic button on my car, uh, on my key, and listen to the sound and try and figure out where it was. And you guys could probably tell me where I parked because you watched me walk in. Um, so this would be cool if like this was a live thing, but I have to upload it later. So it was a success. I got everything I needed. I feel like a little Christmas elf, if you can see the stuff in the back there. Uh, and I'm gonna do the project later on, but for now we're gonna go to Starbucks and I'm gonna start um, doing some homework and some editing. There it is, you guys, the happiest place on earth. So it was super crowded in there, super crowded. I didn't stay very long. Um, and I was editing a, uh, a video, well, I guess it's just audio, but uh, it's a project for my media class, my journalism class, I interviewed my aunt, who was a Broadway actress, who um, helped me realize that this is what I want to do with my life, music and performing and, and being a good person, all those things. She's a great role model. So I was editing that. I got myself a scone, a blueberry scone. You can smell it wafting over here. You'll not be as bored when I am setting up my recording space later on and uh, maybe I'll give you a little preview of the new song that I'm gonna be recording for this week because I'm doing this new weekly series. I'll link the, the explanation video. So for now, I have to go to my acapella group uh, rehearsal, which is on campus, and we are a Broadway-based acapella group. It's super fun. And we have rehearsal three times a week, and so now is one of those times. We are going to be making a little recording booth. DIY, friends. This is a huge box. Fold this in, and then fold that in. We're going to use these little sticky things as opposed to tape because they're a little bit stronger. This also works for mailing Christmas presents to your friends that aren't nearby. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. There's Christmas music on at Target and at Starbucks. It made me feel like Christmas. The Christmas drinks are out. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on recording equipment. <laughs> you can use this. There's probably a way to DIY make your own guitar or something too. I was also thinking about doing a um, how to play guitar video, if you guys want to see that. And for the egg crate though, I think we're going to use some more um, like super glue, which also doubles as something you can put on your fingers so that they don't bleed when you're playing the guitar for three hours. I just love Christmas, you know? so random. Okay, now we're gonna work on 
work on the egg crate. I have an, I also, I got this box because I thought that this might be good. Um, I'm going to try the different sounds, but uh, this one has felt outside of it, so I thought that, that might muffle the sound in a different way, too. I did not make this easy to open. All right, here we go. So we're going to need to cut this up. This doesn't look like it would be very comfortable to sleep on. Right about here. It's like pretty easy to cut, even though it's supposed to be like a mattress topper type situation. <laughs> this will really muffle that sound. As you can tell, I'm not like a craftsman. Although I did put together Jesse's futon pretty much by myself because he was uh, injured, but I feel like it's super glue, right? So anything should be able to stick to it. This is probably gonna end up like sticking to my face probably or something. So I sped up the process because it was just me cutting and gluing and it being really boring but uh this is the finished product <laughs> uh and then on the bottom i have a little space for my yeti mic so uh let's try it out so this is what it looks like huh all right it's pretty cool here's my guitar um and i'm gonna be recording a new original song tonight and i just wanted to give you guys a quick little preview of that song for watching this video and it's not going to be recorded with the little mic thing. The main important thing about having this insulated box thing so the rest of the noise of the room doesn't come through. A little sneak peek of the actual video coming out in a few days. So dust me out of the corners of my life. Sing or pay your heart to a different time. Cause in your childhood home you know which stair creaks and called Losing It All and it's a little sadder than my other ones but uh, it's being recorded on uh, with my new setup and it's gonna be um, edited and uh, all put together later this week. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm planning on doing a tutorial on one of my songs how to play it. Um, they're all pretty easy. I'm not the best guitar player in the world. So let me know if there's anything else you guys want to do. I'm, I'm happy that um, this worked out and I'm happy that I got to share a little bit of my day with you. And um, let me know if you want me to do this again. I'm sorry it wasn't the most entertaining day, but this is kind of typical for me. Homework and rehearsals, and then, I mean, it's Sunday, but like, usually I'll have class. So you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, my Facebook page. I update when I'm going to be posting videos and stuff. Um, and I've been trying to stick to the schedule of once a week uh, original song or cover with this video song idea and it's just um things are only only going up from here so please subscribe for more if you want more and thanks for watching keep the music alive